While your graduation today marks the end of a key phase of your training, it also signifies a new beginning of your service to the nation as specialists of the Singapore Armed Forces. As you go on to your various units, you'll be tasked with greater responsibilities to train, lead, and inspire the men and women under your charge. The road ahead will be demanding, but I am confident that the Specialist Cadet Corps has equipped you with a strong foundation of leadership and war fighting skills to deal with the challenges ahead. If you look around at our external environment, you will notice that the world has become less predictable, more volatile, and definitely more complex. The rise of the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, the terrorist attacks in many key cities over the past two weeks, as well as the two years, as well as the arrest and detention of Bangladeshi workers under the Internal Security Act over the last six months, all serve as important reminders of the threat of terrorism. To deal with this threat, the SCF continues to support Homeland Security efforts and contributes to global efforts to tackle terrorism at its source. In recent years, we have also stepped up to deal with other unconventional threats like piracy and we have been involved in a number of humanitarian aid and disaster relief operations. While unconventional threats increase, we should not forget that traditional security challenges continue to exist. Interstate conflicts may have become less frequent, but we must remain clear eyed that they have not and will not disappear. Just look at the ongoing dispute in the South China Sea. All our armed conflict is unlikely, but accidental miscalculations at sea will lead to open confrontation between countries. Perhaps some of you in the audience today will remember, or have family who will remember the difficult times in Singapore's history. For most of us, it is easy to take things for granted and forget how critical a strong defence is for Singapore since we have enjoyed peace and stability for the past 50 years. However, the strategic vulnerabilities of a small nation will always remain unchanged, and a strong SAF is the ultimate guarantor for Singapore's peace and security. Today's security challenges will be caught, but going forward, we will only continue to widen and evolve. To be able to respond decisively, the SAF has restructured itself, stood up past forces across its three services, and is constantly enhancing its capabilities, leveraging upon new technologies, weaponry, and platforms. Today, the SAF is a modern and networked force that stands ready and capable of conducting a wide spectrum of operations. But our ability to respond decisively to these threats lies not just in our military hardware or fighting structures, but also in the continued competence, commitment and fighting spirit of our people. And because people are so critical to us, it is important to have strong leadership across all ranks in the SDA. Not just in the highest echelon, but also amongst the junior ranks. These include each and every one of you in the parade today. What are the hallmarks of a good leader? What kind of leaders do we need in the SAF? Speaking at the recent SAF Leadership Development Seminar, our Deputy Prime Minister Tio summed it up in one sentence, and I quote, Our leaders have to continue to build deep professional knowledge and skills, lead by example, Constantly look ahead, understand the why, seek new opportunities and solutions to tackle new threats, look after their soldiers and have the steel within. Unquote. As leaders, you need to give your soldiers confidence in what they do. This means that you too need to be good at what you are doing and always seek ways to improve yourself. Through this, you will lead by example, 
you must be prepared to do what you expect your men and women to do and achieve the standards that you have set for them. Be it more conducting operations or dealing with your soldiers under your charge, you will be placed in situations that you have never experienced before. While difficult, I am confident that you are well equipped and well trained. Never shy away from such challenges and always be prepared to find new ways to resolve them. You will emerge from the process as an even stronger leader. As leaders, you will also need to give your soldiers a sense of purpose for what they are doing. This was not too easy. The SDF is a constant force comprising mostly of national servicemen. Your soldiers come from diverse backgrounds, each with their own beliefs, expectations and challenges. We are depending on you to help them see the need and importance of defending our country. It is only when our own people recognise and internalise their role in Singapore's security and survival that our nation's success can be sustained. More importantly, as you go on to assume the new roles in your new units, you should not just see yourself as leaders. Your soldiers will look to you not only for leadership, but also for guidance, friendship and support, like many of the specialists that have inspired you to be here. Spend time with your men, talk to them, empathize with their problems, care for them and encourage them. Be genuine in your words and actions. Our people are our most valuable assets. At this juncture, I'd like to say a sincere thank you to your parents, families, friends and loved ones who have stood beside you and walked with you through each and every step of this journey. They are the reason why you are in uniform and why you choose to defend Singapore. Without their support and encouragement, you will not be able to achieve what you have accomplished today. Without their support, the SEF will also not be what it is today. In closing, your appointment as a specialist of the Singapore Armed Forces today is an affirmation of our nation's trust and confidence in you. Generations before you have done their duty to keep Singapore safe and secure. And we now look to you to take on this sacred responsibility for the years ahead. I welcome all of you as specialists in the Singapore Armed Forces and I wish all of you the best as you continue to serve your country to the best of your abilities. With pride we leave you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the moment that all of you have been waiting for. The honour of affixing the chevrons to bestow our commanders with responsibilities and commitment to our nation lies in your hands. Please step right up to accredit your beloved sons and daughters, our brand new specialists. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry, uh, I think I better close this. I don't know where's your parents. Yeah. 